In this video we're going to talk a little bit about the on enter section of the properties uh, window and uh, what you can do and how you can customize it specifically around showing and hiding your play bar which may be useful for any number of reasons. So let's get right into it. So here I've created a very simple three pages within Adobe Captivate. I've added a next button uh, that simply goes to the next page and it's got to pause after 1.5 seconds. Nothing complicated here. Now what I've done is I've got a show play bar for page one. I'm hiding the play bar for page two and then I'm showing the play bar again in page three. Now this is great if that's the only thing you want to do. This works perfectly fine. You might have any number of reasons for doing this. Let's say on page two, um, you know, you're having something kind of magical happen and you don't want the users to realize that this is simply page two. You want them to think that maybe they're clicking uh, something and it's happening on the previous page one. You want to create the illusion that they're not necessarily on page two. Hiding the play bar is a great way to do that. Uh, but you could use this for any number of reasons why you may want the user not to have controls or, or to see where they are in the course. Um, now this is fine, but what happens if you have more than one thing you want to occur on any particular page? Because as you can see here, I can only select one thing. I could have it you know, show something, hide something, assign something. I can do one of these things. Um, but, you know, the way this works now, it's fine. It will function. Let me just preview it and just show that to you. This will do exactly what I want it to do. Um, you know, give it a second here to, to function. So there's my play bar on the bottom. No problem. Hit next. Play bar goes away. It's exactly what I want. And on page two, I go back to page three and the play bar returns exactly what I expected. But again, what happens if I want something else to happen as well? You know, maybe I want to add a variable that keeps track of uh, the, the number of page views that a user has. It just could be something that, that adds up. We'll use that as an example. Well, in this case, what you're going to need is uh, advanced actions. So instead of uh, show play bar here, I'm going to hit execute advanced actions. And the great part about execute advanced actions, it allows you to run scripts, kind of like mini little computer programs that, you know, have certain things happening behind the scenes. So every time someone enters page one, we're going to have it show the play bar and we're going to add one to a variable. So these two things we're going to do. So let's create that script. So here we are in the advanced actions window. I just clicked the little folder icon next to the script drop down to bring this up. And we're going to call this show play bar. So we're going to do a couple things here. We're going to need to create a variable. So we're going to add a new variable. We're going to call this variable page view. Why not? The initial value is zero. And this is simply a page view counter. Nothing special, nothing fancy. And we're just going to save that. Page view is now available. So let's say Let's just change um, what we're going to do is we're going to assign page view with a literal value of one. Actually, no, let's do this a little differently. Page view with Um, let's change this a little bit here. Yeah, we're 
we're going to increment page view by one. That's actually what we want. So in other words, what we're saying is that page view is currently zero, make it one. If page view is currently two, make it three, and so on. And we're also going to um, show, or sorry, assign the variable associated with showing a play bar, which is CP command show play bar. You'll find that in the drop down list with a literal value of one. Because you're, you're showing the play bar, um, it's one or zero. Those are your choices. Zero means no play bar, one means play bar. So we're going to save this action, close this. So on page one, and we're going to do the same thing for page two, we're going, or sorry, page three. We're going to execute advanced actions, and now we can reuse this script as many times as we wish. Show play bar will be there. And we're going to make a version of this. So we'll go into execute advanced actions. We'll edit this. And what we're going to do is we're going to make um, a copy of this existing one here. And I think there's a way to do it up here. There it is. So we're going to duplicate this action. This is a duplicate of show play bar, but we're going to rename it to hide play bar. Pretty straightforward. And all we're going to change is make this literal value zero. Hit close. Yes, I want to save this as hide play bar. And there we go. So now we have several things happening on each enter. Let's just preview this, make sure it works. Should work, no problem. So here we are on page one. The, the toolbar is visible. We'll hit next. Toolbar goes away. We'll hit next again. Toolbar comes back. And of course, one of the things that uh, we could add just to show here, let's just do something interesting here. Uh, we'll use the title page here. And we'll have uh, have it just show the page view variable, so we can see what that variable is changing to as we go through these courses. So you can see that really two things are happening at once. Perfect. So let's just preview this again. Project. And this should just take a moment, and we'll see. So page view, it's, as you can see, right on your screen. This is page one. The toolbar is visible. So we've done those two things coming into this page. Hit next. We're on page two. No toolbar. And then hit next again. We're on page three. And voila, the toolbar is back. So that's a way you can actually achieve multiple things happening at the same time using advanced actions, playing with variables. In this case, we were using the show play bar and the hide play bar toolbar. And of course, we created our own custom variable to keep track of what page we're on. Guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing, don't hesitate to uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you like this particular video, I always appreciate a thumbs up.